This presentation is on the topic of the Accusizer Single Particle Optical Sizing System. It's both a liquid particle counter and a high resolution particle size analyzer. There's a small video here where we're just showing as particles pass through the sensor, as it passes through the cell, you'll see the two detectors. We have a detector that looks at extinction and a detector looks at scattering. We're going to talk about how we're going to use this technique both for contamination applications and for particle size analysis applications. The basic technology of simple light obscuration or extinction, as you see here, as particles pass through the cell, there's a light source, and the particles obscure part of the light source, essentially casts a shadow. This generates a pulse, which goes through a pulse height analyzer, which we also call the counter. And then through the use of a calibration curve, each pulse is converted into a particle size distribution. So we count and size these particles and build this distribution one particle at a time. The first improvement with the sensors created by particle sizing system is the addition of the scattering detector. Here we have the extinction detector, here we have the scattering detector. We take these two pulses, sum them together, feed that combined pulse into the pulse height analyzer, and then through the use of the calibration curve, build up the results one particle at a time. This is the LE400 sensor, which has a range of 0.5 to 400 microns. So here's some technical information on the LE400 sensor. This is a sensor that has extinction and scattering. When we use both extinction and scattering, it has a dynamic range of 0.5 to 400. And there is an upper concentration limit, which is on the scale of around 9,000 particles per ml. The reason there's an upper concentration limit is because we can only have one particle at a time passing through the sensing zone, as you see here on the left. On the right, you see a situation where there are two particles at the same time passing through the sensing zone. In this case, we would count and size these two particles as one larger particle, and that leads to a coincidence error. This is why we need to be aware of the concentration of the sample, and at times we'll need to dilute the sample in order to avoid these coincidence errors. What we see here are calibration curves. This is a calibration curve using only the extinction detector, which we may use for certain applications where we don't need to measure down to 0.5 microns. And this is the calibration curve for the summation where we use both extinction and scattering detectors. The next advancement with the sensors was to focus the laser beam, as you see here. If we focus the laser beam, we accomplish two things. We increase the intensity here, but also since we focus the laser beam, we essentially reduce the inspection zone. And when we reduce the inspection zone, this means we can work at higher concentrations. So if we focus the laser beam and use an extinction detector, this is the Accusizer FX sensor, as you see here. This has a dynamic range of 0.65 to 20 microns, but it has the ability to work at much higher concentrations up to the order of a million particles per ml. So we could use this sensor when we need to work at higher concentrations. Since we're focusing the laser beam, we're no longer inspecting 100% of the measurement zone, and there's actually a deconvolution algorithm which takes the pulse heights and converts that into the particle size distribution of the particles in the sample. The next development was the FX nanosensor. This is again using a focused laser beam, which allows us to have higher intensity. In this case, we have both an extinction and a scattering detector. So with the higher intensity of the laser beam and the scattering detector, we can actually now measure down to smaller particle sizes, down to 0.15 microns or 150 nanometers. So the FX nanosensor has a dynamic range of 0.15 to about 10 microns and can also measure at these very high concentrations up to the magnitude of 1 million particles per ml. The graph you see on the lower right is showing even though we're using the deconvolution program, we're still able to resolve multiple peaks. Here we see 0 0.3, 3, 4, 4, 5, and 0.6 microns resolved to baseline. So still a very high resolution technique. If we want to combine both the FX and and on the LE400 sensor, then we can actually have this wider dynamic range. And there are certain applications, such as protein aggregation, where we actually use the two sensors. You see the two sensors stacked here using the SIS syringe sampler to aspirate the sample up through the two sensors and perform the measurements. Here we can see the large particles, but also the tail down to very small particle sizes if we combine these two sensors. The Accusizer is both a liquid particle counter and a particle size analyzer, depending on how we use it. 
So if we use it as a liquid particle counter, here we're going to count and size low concentration particulate contamination. So this is really when we're measuring unwanted particles. This is the contamination that we'd tried to filter out in a fluid we'd wanted to be clean. And we can look at this particulate contamination water or in oil, lube oils, hydraulic oils. And we're performing this measurement to answer the question, how clean is the sample? Here we might report the results in maybe two or eight channels and usually look at the number distribution. But when we use the AccuSizer as a particle size analyzer, it's a very high resolution particle size analyzer. And typically when we use it in this mode, we're looking at a product that's been created, some kind of manufactured particles. Here we're answering the question, what is the particle size distribution? And are there any tails outside of the main distribution? When we're using it as a particle size analyzer, we actually have a total of 1,024 channels. We may look at 1024 or 512 channels. Very high resolution results, and here we're typically looking at the volume distribution. It's a liquid particle counter. It's a particle size analyzer. It isn't really a matter of how do you look at it. It's really a question of how are we using the instrument. Single particle optical sizing is a very high resolution technique, and resolution can be defined several ways. When you look at any of these resolution definitions, you see other features of this system which are very unique. One way you can look at it is resolution can mean you could have very many peaks and resolve it to baseline. And what you see on the right is us mixing into maybe five different latex standards and being able to pick off very accurately where are these peaks, what is the width of the peaks, and what happens to the size distribution in between. Now, since we look at these particles one at a time and build the distribution one particle at a time, it's much higher resolution than ensemble light scattering techniques such as laser diffraction. So we have this ability to resolve peaks to baseline. Another way that we can define resolution and show unique capabilities of the AccuSizer is what we see here where there's this main distribution. This was actually an active pharmaceutical ingredient. And then we spiked with just a few 50 micron polystyrene latex particles outside of the main peak. So this is a very sensitive technique to catch just a few particles outside of the main distribution. If we were to try to measure the same sample using laser diffraction, that's the result you see in the lower left. And actually took a much higher concentration of the spike particles before we could ever resolve it using laser diffraction. Another way you can define resolution is does the technique broaden the distribution? We can define the breadth of the distribution using the span calculation, which is the D90 minus the D10 divided by the D50. If you look at the span for the same sample measured here on the AccuSizer and here on laser diffraction, you'll see a 20% difference where the result from the AccuSizer is much more accurate, much higher resolution. The results from laser diffraction are always broadened. It kind of takes an algorithm and draws this distribution. And you lose a lot of resolution when using this technique. When we use the AccuSizer, we have a much more accurate definition of the distribution. Now we need to get the sample through the sensor, and that's what our various sampler fluidics are for. We show here various configurations for the AccuSizer. There are some samples where we're probably using it as a liquid particle counter, where these are low concentration samples and we don't need dilution. Here we could use something like the syringe sampler, which is the SIS system. Or this is the automated AccuSizer A2000, where we're going to sample many, many samples, bring it right through the sensor, and look at the contamination in hydraulic or lube oils. If we're working with higher concentration suspensions, we have different systems with different fluidics to enable automatic dilution of these samples. We have the AccuSizer AD, which we see here, which is single stage exponential dilution. We have the AccuSizer APS, which is dual stage dilution. And the other point we'll make is we also have online systems. Any of the measurements talked about here today, we can also make in the process environment. This is the AccuSizer SIS. This is the syringe sampler. The sample is here, and the syringe pump aspirates it up through the sensor. This is the system that is the preferred system for many USP tests. This is the US Pharmacopeia. These are tests done in the pharmaceutical industry mostly looking at parenteral drugs or lipid emulsions. Let's now look at the AccuSizer SIS in operation. And in this short video, here's the syringe pump. The syringe pump is going to aspirate the sample up through the sensor. So you see the sample here. As the syringe pump pulls down, the sample moves up through the sensor as you see here. The measurement is made as it aspirates through the sensor. Then the syringe pump reverses and will pump the sample out to drain. So that is the AccuSizer SIS system.
This is often used in the pharmaceutical industry to look at large and small volume parental drugs. It's also used to look at protein aggregation. Ophthalmic solutions, these are all samples where we really want to minimize the number of particles in the product. And this is used as a liquid particle counter to quantify the number and size of particles in what should be very clean fluids. We see here just the protocol in the software, how we set up the measurement to define the size range, how much sample to pull, how are we going to mix the sample, etc. And we have automated reporting, as you see down here, so that you have automatic data interpretation. This is a report for USP 788 testing, where we look at the number of particles greater than 10 and 25 microns, and can automatically calculate the pass-fail criteria, as you see right here. If we have a concentrated sample and we want to perform dilution, one of our options is the Accusizer AD, which uses single-stage dilution. Here is a mixing bowl, and this is not to scale. We inject the sample into the mixing vessel. Then as we start taking the sample and passing it through the sensor where the measurement is made, as we bring the sample down through the sensor, we keep adding additional filtered diluent into the system, diluting the sample. And we dilute the sample until we're below the coincidence limit of the sensor, and then perform the measurement. This is the fluidics, and this is just the counter box, which is part of our way to, to build the entire system. So the Accusizer AD is single stage exponential dilution. Let's look at the short video of the Accusizer AD in operation. This is a mixing vessel. We simply open the mixing vessel. Then with the pipette, we're probably going to add, oh, I don't know, 100 microliters or 500 microliters, like a half an ml. Add that to the dilution chamber, which is continually mixed. And as the sample is brought through the center, it's continually diluted in that vessel. We perform the measurement, and now we'll look at some typical results from the Accusizer AD. The results to the right are for inkjet inks. And what we see in the upper right is a sample where this product has not been completely processed. And we see there are still these few large particles. And these few large particles can cause trouble, both with the performance of the ink and maybe also just clogging the jets of the inkjet. Down in the lower right, we see where we've actually processed this material. Maybe we were milling the pigment. And now there are no large particles greater than 10 microns. And this is an ink which could be used successfully in the final product. Another application would be just as a general particle size analyzer, and this is a result of an active pharmaceutical ingredient, an API, looking at the particle size distribution of what was a powdered API that we dispersed in liquid. If we're working at higher concentrations, we have the Accusizer APS. This is a two-stage dilution system. Here in the fluidics diagram on the left, we see there are various ways to actually introduce the sample, but here we're actually going to pump the sample up into the sample loop. Then we're going to transfer the sample loop into a pre-dilution chamber, and that's our first step of dilution. Then the second stage of dilution occurs once we start bringing the sample down to the sensor, we have this additional line of filtered diluent. And we can control this diluent flow rate so that we can control the final dilution factor passing through the sensor. Here's a picture of the Accusizer APS. This is this pre-dilution chamber. This is a syringe drive, which actually can control the flow rates through the system. And we have various ways we can introduce the sample to the system. We can pump it up into this chamber, or we can inject it directly. In this video of the APS in operation, what we're going to see is us directly injecting the sample into that chamber. That's one of three ways we could introduce the sample. It then goes through the two-stage dilution and perform the measurement. Let's look at some results from the Accusizer APS. This is the system we use for highly concentrated suspensions. The data you see on the right is from an emulsion. This is actually a lipid emulsion, and this is us performing a test according to the test USP 729, where there is a specification on the number of particles greater than 5 microns. The Accusizer is the most sensitive technique for detecting a few large particles separated from the main distribution, as you see here. This is looking at a few large particles in the presence of an emulsion in the upper right. In the lower right, this is a CMP slurry a suspension used in the microelectronics industry, where there are a lot of particles which are actually below the detection limit of the LE400 sensor. But here we're just interested in the tails. The concern here is the number of large particle counts, LPCs, greater than one micron. What we did with this sample is we took a clean CMP slurry, and then we spiked it with just a few one micron particles, and we're showing the sensitivity 
to the presence of those one micron particles. I took the same sample and ran it on a laser diffraction analyzer. That's the result you see in the lower left. And I actually had to spike it pretty heavily before it could detect the presence of those one micron particles. And yes, calculating the concentration differences, the accusizer was 600 times more sensitive to the presence of those large particles than the laser diffraction analyzer. The next system we'll talk about is the Accusizer A2000CMS. This is a system incorporated into an auto sampler as you see here, and in this case the auto sampler has two trays. The typical application for this system is measuring the particulate contamination in hydraulic oils and lube oils. So the needle is going to come down and measure each of these tubes of sample. The measurement is made here in the sensor which sets up on top. Here is a syringe pump which is going to transfer the sample from the tubes through the sensor then out to waste. This is a system that can do triplicate analysis of each tube in under two minutes and can easily measure on the order of about 200 samples per day. We'll watch a short video here of the Accusizer A2000 CMS in operation. A needle comes over, takes the sample from one of these sample tubes and then aspirates it using this syringe pump up through the sensor which is mounted right on the sample arm here, performs the measurement, and then before it moves on to the next sample it comes over and cleans that tube and the needle in wells which are used to clean the tube. The Accusizer A2000 CMS often reports particulate contamination according to the ISO standard 4406 where we look at the particle count greater than 4, 6, and 14 microns, we look at the concentration, and then refer to a table from ISO 4406 which tells us if we have between 40 and 80 particles per ml, then we're in classification code scale number 13. So when we report the results, which is done automatically, we can take multiple measurements from the same tube and report the classification code, the scale numbers, at these three different size ranges as you see here. So the measurement is automated using the auto sampler. The reporting is automated and gives you the scale numbers using ISO 4406 or these other contamination standards such as NES 1638 or SAE or NAS cl classes. So this is all very automated and the data can be then downloaded into the LIMS system which is managing the data from a laboratory. So this is used for high throughput measurements. Now any of the sensors that we've talked about today we can also mount online for in-process measurements, either the LE400, FX, or FX Nano. We have systems that can measure the sample undiluted or dilute the sample. We have systems that are built for single point monitoring such as the online AccuSize you see here, or this is the mini system which is very popular for CMP slurry monitoring. And we also have what we call a tower system which can multiplex four different fluidics lines into a system and we can use one sensor in electronics and be able to monitor up to four different CMP slurry lines using one system. This is all completely automated with reporting and alarming and being able to output the data into programmable logic controllers. So any of the measurements we talked about today we can also perform online. So the AccuSizer single particle optical sizing system is both a liquid particle counter and a particle size analyzer depending on how we want to use it. We can make these measurements in the laboratory or online as we see here, the AccuSizer Mini. This is the best system to find the tails of distributions outside of the main population. It's the highest sensitivity system to detect those few large particles and there are many applications where a few large particles cause either problems in the process or in the quality of the final product. We have very advanced auto dilution systems, so we can work at very low concentrations to very high concentrations. We can do single measurements or we can automate all this using our auto sampler. So that's a quick overview of the particle sizing systems AccuSizer. If you'd like additional information on any of these systems, please visit the website. Look for the documentation page and from the documentation download center you can download information on any of these systems or the applications where they're used to provide this information. Thank you for your attention. I hope this is useful.